So another uh, piece of news from Amazon Accelerate. And just keep in mind, all of these numbers in here are coming from Amazon. We've got no <laughs> confirmation they're true. But Amazon says uh, their fully managed supply chain service boosts seller sales by 20%. Amazon has launched a fully managed supply chain service that simplifies seller operations and increases delivery speed, leading to an average 20% boost in sales conversions. Sellers can now leverage Amazon's logistics, warehousing, and transportation services to streamline product movement from factories to customers more efficiently. We, with features like multi-channel distribution and discounted AWD rates, which is Amazon warehousing and distribution, they're we, uh, we free shell. actual discounts. This yes, is true. very good discounts. They are very good. Um, this service reduces inventory needs by 20%, supposedly preventing stockouts and saving on capital. For Amazon sellers, the new fully managed option provides a game-changing solution for scaling their business without the burden of complex supply chain management. So, do you think they a lot of hyperbole like there? The oh, they uh, totally did. <laughs> so the images are AI. Was it the game-changing keyword that that cued us in? <laughs> Every AI post ever. Remember, remember the last game changing unlock keyword. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, a lot of hyperbole in this uh, obviously. This is coming so, so right this from This is a logistics Amazon. company though. A logistics company putting out logistics news. I have to say of all the things we talked about today, this is the most believable. Yeah. It's, Although the 20% uh, increase in conversion rate, I have a trouble. I believe that one too. Here's why. What's the number one rule about it selling on Amazon? Don't run out of inventory. Don't run out of stock. What happens to every Amazon seller? They run out of stock. So increasing mm. your sales by 20% on an annual basis by not running out of stock, actually believable. And let's add to the fact that Amazon's other terrible policies, restock limits and the, the slow check-in times during Q4 exasperate this problem mm -hmm. of causing stockouts. So if you trust them with the end-to-end, -end, and I kind of do in this case, this is one of the rare times where I'll put my neck out and say, I do trust Amazon with logistics. Wow. They're a logistics company. They're, That's they're, true. they're a logistics company that happens to be a marketplace, right? Just yeah. like Mag, my Amazon guy, is an education company that happens to be an agency. So it's, it's a believable thing. Um, you know, obviously there's horror stories out there with, with Amazon losing container loads and slow check-in times. And there's all the, uh, the, like, we could stack the complaints and all of those things would be legitimate. But at the end of the day, Amazon does have the best logistics in the entire world. There, there's nobody that can touch them on this. And they get stuff from point A to point B faster than anybody else. So I, I do think that this is probably legit. And, and I would absolutely, with my own products, test supply chain by Amazon 100%. Yeah, so you heard it here, uh, folks. Yeah, with with my new company that we started, uh, Amazon Storage Pros, this is basically what we're we're helping people with is with logistics. So uh, I can back up Stephen what you said, especially about AWD. The discounts on there are quite substantial, uh, especially since you can avoid the Amazon placement fees completely by sending to AWD and using AWD to restock Amazon FBA. So what they have set up there is very good. AWD has come a long way in the last, uh, I would say few months, three to six months. So it's come a long way. It's working relatively well. AGL is the other part where they're actually bringing the products from China or Vietnam or wherever over to Amazon FBA or AWD. Mm -hmm. That part is uh, in our experience and other people's experience that we've talked to is kind of back and forth. Typically, you don't have as much control as you do by using a third party to do this. And the rates for it are competitive, but not always the cheapest. So that part of it, I think, needs a little bit more work. But inside the USA, they're getting very competitive. And, you know, I was talking with somebody yesterday uh, and people are, you know, afraid, which I think they have a, a reason to be, to put all their eggs with Amazon. But the good thing with logistics, unlike selling on Amazon.com, is that 
it would be easier to move away from Amazon logistics to a 3PL and third party uh, freight carriers and such like that than it is to try to find a new place to replace your sales on Amazon.com. Mm, true. But, uh, Significantly, yes. Yeah. So it's uh it's interesting that you know this is basically just a move for Amazon to take this market away from freight brokers and third party logistics and 3PLs and such and bring it all in house and control the entire thing from the manufacturer all the way to the customer. So I want to rephrase what you said there just slightly because I, I think we we're in alignment, but I don't think they're trying to take away from anybody. I think they're just trying to build vertical control. And we've seen mm -hmm. this in every market historically, whether it was oil, cars, railroad, um, building a monopoly. Amazon is a monopoly. Let's establish that. Um, we'll never see this monopoly broken up, though, because the government, you know, the CIA and Alexa, you know, they're, they kind of fund that. So, you know, but <laughs> we won't, won't go there. We won't go there. But but we can say this. It's it's an obvious monopoly. And anybody that disagrees with that, then I don't know how you can de decipher the fact that Amazon is literally half our economy indirectly, if not otherwise. Um, so Amazon is just taking full vertical control of logistics end to end. And it, and it makes sense for their model. They've always been trying to do this. If you look back and you know, and you read Jeff Bezos's mission statements, this is on target. This is always where they were heading. Highly predictable outcome here. Yeah. And it's, it's definitely something worth trying. Uh, but you know, I would don't burn your bridges obviously with the people that you're using now, if you have a good uh, sure. you know, freight broker that you're using already, and you have a 3PL that you're using already, I would maybe do you think minimize. The there? Like, do you think it's not just a commodity business, slowest rate wins? Well, what I'm saying is, uh, you know, if instead of moving 100% over to Amazon, maybe move 90% over to Amazon, keep some at those other places so that you have those accounts open relationships there still so you can move things back over there if amazon decides hey we've got enough of the market now let's double our prices or something like that i got you but i i think it's a commodity business so i don't think i don't think there's much risk here 